When I ask my colleagues about their practice, I always find myself surprised that so many of them refuse to do RGP contact lens fits, which is a shame because there's so many patients out there that currently need to wear them. They'll often tell me, well, sometimes I can't tell if the RGP lens is fitting right. If that's you, check out this clip. You've picked out your lens, you put it on the eye. This is a really steep fitting lens. Why? Because you have all of this fluorescein pooling here in the center, you can't see the iris details through that fluorescein. You also see you have really thin PCs in some of these areas, and then you have this area of mid peripheral bearing in the lens as well. In some cases of these steep fits, you're going to get something called dimple veiling. You will remember that's when you get these little tiny bubbles of air that come under underneath the center of the lens, that's called dimple veiling. Other things you may hear from your patient are, hey, this lens is really hard to get off. This area of mid peripheral bearing here, you get kind of some suction forces between the lens and the cornea. It's gonna be really hard for your patient to get off. If you look at this picture, what else is going on with this lens? You're like, yeah, that wedding is terrible, right? You see all those little pockets of fluorescein on the surface of the lens. How do you fix a problem like this? You can add coatings to the front of the lens or you can also just change the lens material. What's going on here? Yeah, you're seeing some pretty gnarly central SPK there. If you look really close, you'll actually see where this bottom edge is completely lifted off the eye and you're getting little air bubbles in there. What is your patient going to tell you? You're gonna be like, wow, this is super uncomfortable. Or, you know, if I look slightly off center, it falls out of my eye. Or sometimes when I blink, it just falls out of my eye. Those are things that you're gonna hear with a lens that fits really flat. Here's a little less extreme example, but you can still see you have this area of central bearing where you can see the pupil and the iris details through the lens versus in the mid periphery of this lens, you're getting a lot of fluorescein pooling. What are you seeing with this fluorescein pattern? Okay, I hope you're yelling at me that this looks perfect because it does. Look at that beautiful, even pattern of fluorescein underneath this lens. You'll see that kind of until you get out to those PCs, everything is even. It's shallow enough that you can see the iris and the pupil details through it. This patient's pupil is looking through the optic zone, but also through the peripheral curves. This patient is going to experience where half of the image is clear and then half of it looks like a smudged eraser across it. This lens is too small, that's making it ride really high, so you want to make it larger to help it center better on the eye. You are going to increase the diameter. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was just a sneak peek. For more awesome clinic content like this, please subscribe to KMK's new clinic power up course. This is the number one requested course by practicing optometrists. We have an extensive library, 37 hours, 100 videos to help you dominate any condition that ends up in your chair. Efficient and practical, this course is our best work yet. You can sign up by clicking on the link in the description. I'll see you on the next video.